the Christian, I will show to them from the Christian Bible that brothers, you have misunderstood the whole thing. And actually you're misunderstanding it. Doctor, Doctor Sahib, I says, please tell us, tell these people that in my language, in English, when we say a spirit has no flesh and bones, that it has flesh and bones. Tell them, sir. You're ready for this. Oh, yeah. I want to be sure he's ready for this. I but... ready. All right. Now is your opportunity. Um, we should be passing out the sheets of papers. Any question that you have, please uh, address it to I either um, the Reverend Jimmy Swaggett or Brother Ahmed Didat. Ahmed Didat. Does the glorious Quran exist in its original and pure form? And were the originals in fact burned? There is an Osmani Quran, you know, and the Khalif Osman. Brother Swagat mentioned something about variant readings. <coughs> that Osman had those variant readings burnt. And uh, to give an example from his own speech, if somebody was shorthand, right, you know, taking down notes of Brother Swagat's speech, he mentioned a number of names. He was actually mutilating them. We forgive him because when it's an Ottoman or something like that, when it's saying Usman, he said something about Omar, which sounds most horrible. We are not taking you know, exception to that because this is, you are not used to the, our names. But the person who's taking shorthand and you reproduce that, you'll never be able to connect that you were talking about Usman the third caliph of Islam, or you're taking about, talking about Omar, the second caliph of Islam, Hafsa, you pronounce it correctly. So in that case, if I was going through the notes for publication, Brother Swagat's speech, I would, you expect me to leave it as it is? You know what, the way mutilated spelling of Ottoman, this is not Ottoman, it's Usman, so I would say my O-T-H-M-A-N instead of Ottoman, I said, look, it's O-S-M-A-N, Osman, wouldn't I do that? So what happened is this, the books, the Hebrew scripture as well as the Arabic scripture were written originally without the vowel points, without the vowels. Hebrew without vowels, Arabic without vowels. To a native of the language, it was quite easy to understand what was being said. But to an outsider, without the vowels, you can't make the proper pronunciation. Like for example, in English, if it was written without vowels, that the man is sleeping on the bed. The bed will be written B D. You know it should be bed. It's not bid, it's not bod, it's not bad, it's not bud. B D stands for bed. You know, your senses of the language makes you to substitute the vowels in your mind. B D stands short for bed. The Arab knew that and the Jew knew that about his language. But as soon as it goes to a foreign nation, the person doesn't know how to pronounce. Like the word Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, which means praise be to God, the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds, written without vowels, how are you going to pronounce? Alhamdo, Ilhamdo, Alhamdo, how? So different nations, as soon as they started accepting Islam, the way they heard it, they started pronouncing it, they started writing it, mutilating the language. Like English. Some of my people, they pronounce divorce as divorce. Divorce as divorce, iron as iron. What do you do? I was spelling between the English of the Englishman and the English of the American. Your spelling varies, but fortunately, the sound, the pronunciation is not varying. But if that produces a separate a difference in, in the pronunciation, you say, no, you'll have to change it. So, those variant readings of the various pronunciations, is that look, this, the revelation was given in the dialect of the Quraysh, the family, the tribe of Muhammad, and that pronunciation should be reserve, uh, preserved. So every other pronunciation with different vowel points, it says eliminate them. And that one that was done by Osman is, is preserved in the museum, in the top copy museum in Istanbul, that is in Turkey. Brother Swaggett, is this live? Please explain to me how in Revelation 
There are supposed to be 144,000 people who are supposed to enter heaven, and all of them are Jews from the 12 tribes. What happens to the Gentiles like us? Is that your question? The 144,000, as mentioned in the book of Revelation, as the brother said, has to do with the Jewish people, 12,000 from each tribe. It has nothing to do with Gentiles. And those 12,000 are chosen from each tribe during the Great Tribulation period because they are the ones that have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And so they are raptured up, in, up into heaven. It has nothing to do with the salvation of the millions that have come to the Lord has nothing to do with the Gentiles. It just speaks of that 144,000. And uh, it also states that whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So any Gentile that would call on the name of the Lord will be saved as well. I trust that answers the question. Brother Ahmed, Jesus said, the Lord our God is one, is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord with your God with all your heart. Mark 12th chapter, the 29th through the 30th verse. Muslims agree with Christians that there is uh, only one God, but how do Muslims love God without a change of heart? The change of heart, look at the Muslims. Look at them. Jesus said, by the fruits you shall know them. Do men gather figs from the thistle or grapes from the thorn? He said, every good tree will be a good fruit and every evil tree will be evil fruit. Here is the test. The fruits. Islam has created the biggest society of teetotalers in the world. There are some 1,000 million Muslims in the world and almost as a whole, they are teetotalers. They don't imbibe alcohol. Here is the fruit. My own particular race, the most racist people on earth, you know, the Hindus of India, the, 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 the caste Hindus, you know, the, uh, the, the super Brahmin caste, my nation. And you see the same nation, the most racist nation on earth, becomes one who accepts the black and the white, the rich and the poor in his brotherhood. A change. With all these claims that are being made for Christianity, Jesus Christ transforming people's lives, you know, the, the old you goes out of you and the new you comes into you. I said, my dear brothers and sisters, look, in this mighty nation of America, according to Brother Swaggart,